Okay, welcome back. So um, let's continue the work with the animations. Um, I just noticed uh, one thing uh, off video. Um, I missed. Um, if we take a look at the getting up animation uh, from the side, I think we need to adjust that a little bit. As you can see, she's uh, leaning back, so her arms is sticking through the, the ground. Uh, so we can easily fix that by going into the import settings, the transform, and giving this a uh, six degrees uh, adjustment. So that's going to straighten up a little bit. Um, and also um, the, the other one here, it's kind of screwed up because the hands are not touching the ground. Uh, well, doesn't look that way to me. So I think I'm gonna see if I can also um, swing that a little bit down. So just gonna keep this four degrees. Uh, it's not got really gonna help because that means that the feet are gonna get a little bit higher up. Um, but I hope this is gonna be a little bit better. Okay, so anyway, um, also one thing we can just uh, as well do right now is I don't want the animation to start at exactly this point. I want it to begin kind of where the hands are under, um, on the way actually already. So let's remove everything from 0 to 20 and um, I think that's it um, for the uh, adjustments. So. Let's get rid of these two that we imported last time. And uh, let's retarget them again. Okay. So this one is getting up from the back. So let's give, him, give it that name. And this is... Um, Okay, up front. And the way we're going to do this is to use a montage to play these. So uh, select both of them and create montages out of them. And um, let's see, uh, I don't want to use all of the animation. I just want to make sure that when we come to a standing, uh, we fire uh, an event a notifier um, saying that we are standing up. So I going to add a, a notifier here called it standing so I'm going to do the same for this one so somewhere around here I guess um, add standing and then we want to go into the animation uh, blueprint and uh, type in standing and then um, what this will do is uh, allow us to know when in the animation that we are now standing because um, we're going to change this a little bit uh, um, in the way that it was working before before we had this delay um, so now we are going to use the montage instead to uh, act as the delay um, so we need to, to know when we are standing. So uh, we need to we're going to do this by calling a custom event from the animation blueprint in, uh, in here. So I'm going to create a custom event and call this also standing. And then um, when we uh, when this event is firing, uh, then we will. Um, What is it? Only actor and cast this to third person character. Um, like that. 
And I guess that's all we need in here. Um, since we're going to play a montage, we need a slot to play this in. And right now we don't have anything in here, so uh, we type in slot. And this is default slot. Since this is not very complicated at all, I'm just going to use this default slot for everything right now. Um, so that's, that's going to be used to play the, the montage. Um, and compile and compile. Okay. Um, right. So we need to take things a little bit apart now. So um, once we uh, come out of the, um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Ragdoll. Uh, we still want to do the same, but instead of the delay here, we are going to plug in um, a montage here. So we're going to um, get um, ins, um, what is it called? Uh, animation instance. Sorry, completely blank there for a moment. Um, and cast to third person enemy BP, and we are gonna move this a little bit to the side, and then we wanna play a montage, and we don't know really what we are gonna play because um, up on the event tick. Um, we uh, make this check if we are facing one or the other way but right now we just print out a, a text string so uh, once we figure out which way we're playing we're gonna save this in the variable so I'm just gonna make a variable called get up montage like that and Let's keep the print strings here. No, let's not. Um, and this is going to be the front montage. And set this one to be the back montage. And that means that we can now plug this in. Where did it go? Here. In here. And. Um, we have this event um, because now we detached everything after the the delay, so um, we need to plug that in to the. Uh, God damn it! One moment. Okay. Okay, so um, now we are setting everything back and uh, we need to also stop the montage playing. So we just copy that stuff from up there and tell whatever montage is playing to stop. So I'm going to give it um, zero point two or whatever. And we don't need to set anything here, so whatever is playing is going to stop. Um, uh, let's see, is that all we needed? Let's give it a test. Okay, so something is going on, uh, at least. So when we press our key, we're first of all going to see a, a little animation bob and um, that's actually something you need to take a look at this because it's kind of uh, important um, since I'm on um, um, 4.10.4 at the moment uh, this uh, these animations uh, these um, seven animations have um, a root joint uh, problem I would say um, as you can see, the the root is uh, the green 
let's just focus on the green uh, the y axis is pointing down and if we take a look at the animations for uh, the other ones the animations uh, the the rule is pointing at uh, the green uh, the y axis is pointing forward so they need to point the same direction and uh, to kind of illustrate this let's quickly make a, a test this is also kind of uh, interesting to to see if you run into something similar later on uh, in a different project um, and you can drag in for example the, the, the idle and um, one of the the blend animations and as you can see here uh, the blending is uh, going on the the root also so that is why he's going to make that dip um, so luckily um, for us, um, Epic Games finally decided to uh, fix this, so I don't have to do it myself. Um, so I have, um, let's see, where did it go? Here. I have a completely blank uh, project, but this is um, um, 4.11. Six, I believe and it's just a completely blank project it also started from the third person character um, so um, example so what we can do here is just to select all these animations here and um, export them actually let me both export that um, and make a folder for that Whatever. Okay. So with them them exported, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, overwrite my own uh, animations here. So uh, oh, okay, created all this. Okay. So select everything. Open. Say yes to all. Select the mannequin and import all. So. Now we are basically just getting all the existing animations, but with the, the root fixed. So um, that is going to get rid of that problem with the, uh, with the, the root, I hope. Let's see now. There's still a little bit turning, but it's not anything serious. So, yep, as uh, you hopefully can see, it's fixed. Uh, so let's get rid of that blend space. Um, if we um, jump down here again and click get up, um, you're still going to see a little bit of um, uh, a weird movement in the beginning. And also when he's getting up from the back, he's going to turn all the way around. But he's going to make a little flip in the beginning. And a way to get uh, around this is to take the, um, the montage here. It has blend in time set that all the way down to zero uh, for both of them. And let's see. Okay, so it's a little bit better now. But the thing is, when he's lying on his back, uh, he's making an, one, a, a turn. Uh, and actually, he's because we don't have him rotated the correct direction right now, and that is actually something we also need to uh, look into. Um, I think that I'm gonna um, wrap up this video uh, and make the final adjustments uh, in the next. So um, yeah. Uh, stay tuned and um, see you in the next. Bye-bye.